Hey y'all, welcome to Games for Young Minds. I'm Kent here with a little game called Shut the Box. Now Shut the Box is one of these great games that is easy enough to explain to a five or a six year old, and yet the actual structure of the game is challenging enough that I, as an adult, am not always sure exactly what move to make during the game, and that's what makes it so much fun to play again and again with my kids. And best of all, the game only takes about a minute to play, so if you try something out and it doesn't quite work, you can always try something else next round. Let's check it out. So, Shut the Box comes with a pair of dice and a box that has these nine doors on it with the numbers from one through nine listed on them. They start in the open position, and the goal of the game is to slowly shut all of these doors until you have completely shut the box. So, how do you shut the doors? Well, you take your dice, you roll them, and you get a number like eight in this case. Now the goal is to close any combination of numbers that adds to eight. So of course I could just shut the eight box, or I could shut seven and one, or I could shut five and three. I could even shut five and two and one. As long as the numbers add to eight, it's a valid move. So let me just shut six and two. Then we roll again, and I rolled a seven. So I'll just shut the seven box. Roll again, and I got a six. Now I don't have the six anymore, but I do have five and one. And you just keep rolling until you roll something that you can't shut. Let's see, this is 11. I do have eight and three, that adds to 11. And I hope I get a nine. Oh, I got a nine. I am very close to winning my very first game of Shut the Box today. Oh, unfortunately I rolled a five and the only box that I had left to close was a four, so I'm not able to completely shut the box. Now, as you can see, this is quite a difficult game to win, which is why it's such a fun game to play solitaire. So your kids, once they know the game, they can just play over and over and over again until they finally shut the box. But if you've got a few people around and they wanna play a competitive version, then you can play an entire round where everybody plays one round of shut the box and then calculates their score. In this case, my score would be four because I only have the four door open. But if you had multiple doors, you would just add them up. And whoever has the lowest score is the winner of that round. I should mention, if you're ever in a situation where only the one door is open, then you do not need to roll both dice. You can just roll one die because if you roll two dice, it would be impossible to win. But in any other circumstance, you do have to roll both the dice. So that's how you play. Now this combination of being really easy to learn, quick to play, and challenging to win is what I love about Shut the Box because it is just so addictive. In fact, when I was preparing for this video, I brought the game up and set it on the kitchen counter and I noticed that my kids were just gravitating towards the game. You know, I was chopping up apple slices or whatever and they were just playing a couple rounds because it was really fun for them. In fact, even my daughter who's only four years old and has a really hard time figuring out all the different combinations that add to nine, she would roll the dice and then sit there and stare at her hands and slowly lower some fingers as she tried to figure out what two numbers add to seven. And I just loved seeing that because it was a mathematical moment she was having on her own. I was not involved in it. I was not peppering her with questions. It just so happened that a mathematical idea was the most fun and interesting thing for her to think about in that moment. And I was just so happy to see that. And the best part about the game is that the math that they're doing is such a fun inversion of the traditional way we think about addition. You know, you'd usually think about an addition problem like what's four plus five, right? There is a single right answer, it's right there in front of you, you either get it or you don't. But it is much more interesting to answer the question, what numbers add to nine? Because there are so many different answers and not all of them work and shut the box. I mean, obviously one plus one plus one, plus, that'll add to nine, but you can't play that in the game. But depending on your definition of number, you might come up with all sorts of crazy ideas for what adds to nine, you know, four and a half and four and a half. And your kid may not come up with that idea, but they're way more likely to come up with it if they're thinking about this question than if you're just asking them what's four plus five. So if you and your kids play Shut the Box and have an awesome mathematical moment, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And as always, you can get a weekly game recommendation by signing up for my newsletter. You can sign up at gamesforyoungminds.com. The complete archive is available there. So have a great time and remember to play games and ask questions. I'll see you soon.